Good afternoon dear friends. Today we are going to discuss about development uh, sections of solids of uh, various types of solids say prism, pyramid, cylinder and cone. It is a really very much interesting topic as far as the industrial need is concerned. I assure you that once you remember or you digest this concept and the basics of this topic then it would be very difficult for you to forget this topic. And any kind of problem you will be able to solve once you uh, go on through the content and uh, 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 right now I start with the various types of solids there are four types of basic solids and which can be categorized into two categories first is first group and second group group A means solids having top and base of same shape top face and base face having the same shape and another is solids having base of some shape and just a point as a top that is called as a pax. Group A first is the cylinder. Cylinder means two circular faces, upper face and lower face. Both are joined with a straight lines or called as edges. Then prism, upper face and lower face may be any polygon, it may be triangle, it may be square, it may be pentagon or it may be hexagon. And accordingly, the prism is given name say triangular prism, square prism, pentagonal prism and hexagonal prism. Similarly, b group B and cube is also covered in group A means cube means all sides are of having equal length and uh, all sides are square. Another is cone. Cone means base is circular and circular base is joined to some apex point with straight lines like this and pre pyramid means a face one face it may be polygon that is joined to an apex point it may be square pyramid triangular pyramid pentagonal pyramid and hexagonal pyramid triangular square pentagon and hexagon and tetrahedron means four triangles are joined like this which is called as the tetrahedron solid now solids and these are the dimensional parameters of different solids say square prism, square pyramid, cylinder and cone. In square prism top face is there this is called as top face, rectangular face, this is longer edge, this is corner of the base, edge of the base, this is base, similarly this is apex point, slant edge, base, edge of the base, corner of the base and this is triangular face as this is a square pyramid four triangular faces would be there if it is a pentagonal pyramid five triangle faces would be there in case of hexagonal six faces would be there and in case of cylinder these are the imaginary generators imaginary lines generating curved surfaces of cylinder and called is are called as generators this is a circular base and in case of cone this is apex point the uppermost point of the cone now these are the models of the solid the first one is this one as we have written this is one solid it is having hexagonal top face In, if you look from the top side it would appear as a hexagon now this is hexagonal solid and in this hexagonal solid four uh, six edges are there six edges are there one if you look at here here point a is there a b c d e f right so six edges are there if you look from the front side it would appear as a rectangle you can see here and if i am looking from the top side then top view would appear like a hexagon right so top view is hexagon front view is a rectangle now in top view the two sides these two sides would be parallel to x y line or it would be perpendicular to x y line if two sides are parallel to x y line we have to draw top view like this means the top view is of hexagon which is to be drawn below x y line such that two sides are parallel to x y line if it is given that two sides are perpendicular to uh, this x y line say perpendicular uh, then two sides would be perpendicular to x y line it should be drawn like this 
so this is top view in in that case also front view will be just a rectangle so in any case front view will be rectangle top view is a uh, appropriate polygon these are the edges 1 2 3 6 edges are there now in case of cylinder again this is one cylinder in which this is a cylinder in which the top view is a circle front view is just a rectangle you can see here if we look from the front side it would appear as a full rectangle means a uh, width having equal to diameter of the cylinder and height is equal to height of the cylinder if you look from the front it would appear as a rectangle if you look from the top it would appear as a circle you can see this is a circle this is a rectangle so this is projections of cylinder uh, cylinder then third solid that is cone and pyramid see you can see this is a pyramid this is a hexagonal pyramid a base is hexagon and the all six corners or six points of this base are joined to one apex point this is called as apex point of this a uh, pyramid it's a hexagonal pyramid it may be pentagon if the base is pentagonal face then it is called as pentagonal pyramid these are called as the slant edges you can see here this is a slant edge this is slant edge this is slant edge and these are the triangular faces in case of hexagon uh, there would be six triangular faces and one hexagonal face and in case of cone say this is a cone you all might have seen the cone shape in the cone a base is circle which is joined to one apex point with a generators these are called as various generators these are the generators and generator means the imaginary lines drawn on the surface of this solid so circular base is this one it is joined to one apex point so in top view it would appear as a full circle you can see here in top view it's a circle in front view it's a triangle so this is one uh, fourth solid that we discuss in detail one by one this is these are called as cut sections of the solids if we cut the cone at certain angle it would appear as a first one in case of cylinder it would be ellipse and in case of pyramid this kind of shape would be there if it is cut at certain angle to base and if it is cut such that the cutting plane remains parallel to xy line or parallel to its base it is called as frustum it may be pyramid frustum or it may be frustum of a cone these last two are this one this is the frustum of cone and the previous one this one this is frustum of a square pyramid now what is sections of solid section means we have to cut certain solids at certain angle and what's the need of this section of soft solid whenever you will go to industry and you design any kind of object or any material or any content at that time you need to imagine what would be the shape once we cut it at certain angle suppose we cut the cylinder through its generator at certain angle uh, which makes th that cutting plane makes some angle with the base then that cutting view would appear as a ellipse as shown over here elliptical shape would be there in case of square pyramid a trapezium shape would appear as shown over here now section plane through generators if it is at certain angle the section plane would be ellipse if the section plane through apex if we cut through apex point then definitely some angle would be there and that would be a triangular shape so true shape of that cut section would be triangle in case of section plane parallel to end generators if section plane is made parallel to end generators that is imaginary gener imaginary generator then the true shape would be parabola it would be parabolic in shape if the section plane parallel to axis if we cut along it uh, its axis means parallel to axis in that case the shape that is true shape or cut section would appear as a hyperbola as shown over here so these are the conic cut sections say ellipse parabola hyperbola and triangle are the conics so ellipse parabola and hyperbola are called as conical cow because they are derived from conical shape now objective of our today's discussion would be to learn the methods to draw cut section of solids the solids will cover we will cover four solids that is prism pyramid prism cylinder and cone various methods how to draw its top view how to draw its front view if we cut at certain angle how would would it appear what would be its front view what would be its top view its true shape 
those various methods we will discuss today in this session now first example this is first example some data are given a hexagonal prism 25 mm sides and 70 mm height is standing on horizontal plane on its hexagonal base two sides of base parallel to horizontal plane it is cut by a section plane 45 degree inclined to horizontal plane through midpoint of axis draw its front view top view and true shape of the section now in such kind of problem first we should start from the first line what is given here dimensions are given hexagonal prism 25 mm sides so front top view would be hexagon with 25 mm sides if because here it is given that two sides of base parallel to hp it is given it is on here it is given it its hexagonal base two sides of base parallel to horizontal plane it is cut by a section plane so first we think about this three lines only in this three line its top view would appear as a hexagon and its front view would appear as a rectangle so first of all draw xy line which represents the intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane for front view xy line is horizontal plane and for top view xy line is vertical plane so we start from its top view draw xy line in top view it would appear as a hexagon here two sides of base parallel to hp it is given so we will draw this hexagon such that two sides become parallel to xy line like this after drawing this hexagon insert the dimension it's a hexagon with side length 25 mm and then draw generators from end points mark a height that is of 70 mm which is given in the data so height is 70 mm mark a point at a height of 70 mm and make a rectangle so this is a rectangle and this shows the front view of this solid so top view and front view we have drawn so in short we have drawn the first line a hexagonal prism 25 mm sides and 70 mm height two sides of base parallel to horizontal plane now draw its center lines or axis of this solid after drawing this axis mark midpoint of this axis means which will be at a distance of 35 mm from the base because it is given that the cutting plane passes through midpoint of the axis and this may plane makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane now to draw this draw a line which makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line as well and it passes through midpoint of this axis means at a height of 35 mm from the base now after drawing this cutting plane name this points a b c d e and f six corner points of this hexagonal prism and from this prism draw vertical lines which shows the generators or corners or edge points edge of this solid so six edges are there a which is shown by dash point as it is a front view so front view is represented by dash points so it's a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash so this we have drawn uh, this diagram represents the given data only one thing here remains that is the true shape of this cut section is it clear first we have drawn the hexagon with given side length then uh, front view with a given side of rectangle 70 mm then mark the midpoint of the axis which is at a distance of 35 mm from the base and then after draw a cutting plane which makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line now to draw the cut section or true shape of the section we will draw the this is sectional top view because if you look from the top side it would appear as a sec it would be appear as a complete hexagon so here sectional top view is to be drawn like this sectional line should be drawn such that all these lines makes an angle of 45 degree with our reference line that is xy line and this is front view and lighten this uppermost portion here this portion this portion is to be removed so we should make it much lighter or it should be erased because now this section is our remaining section this is a hexagonal you can say it's a hexagonal cut section front view is drawn now to draw its true shape means after cutting this 
what would this shape appear to draw this true shape draw a line or another reference line which is parallel to this cutting plane which makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line and this is our reference line that is called as x dash y dash line after drawing this x dash y dash line mark here some points the draw a line which is perpendicular to this x dash y dash line and passes through the point this is a and b a dash this is point a dash from this point a dash draw a line perpendicular to x y line and mark some point over here that is point number a or one see here this is point a so distance from x dash y dash line to this point a would be equal to distance between the top view that is point a and x y line you can see here this red line a x y line to a and x dash y dash line to a similarly x y line to b this length measure this length or take it on the compass and draw a vertical line uh, line which is perpendicular to x dash y dash line from point b dash and mark another point that is point b similarly point c vertical line a uh, line which makes an angle of 90 degree with x dash y dash line and passes through point c dash mark over here that is point c similarly point d means a line which is inclined at 90 degree to x dash y dash line and passes through point d dash from d dash draw a line like this which makes an angle of this angle is 90 degree and length distance between x dash y dash this point and this point that is equal to the distance between x y line and d point this distance and this distance both distances are similar similarly find out point, point d e this is point e and f so we have found all six points a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash and f f a b c d e and f join all these points with a straight line and that represents the true shape of this section now if we look from the this angle or from this side the true shape of this section would appear like this so this is true shape and true shape should be drawn with a section lines like this and you should take care about this thing that these section lines should make an angle of 45 degree with x dash y dash line not x y line students uh, numerous times do such kind of mistakes they are drawing these lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line no it's a wrong practice 